Hey everybody, welcome to another YC Weekly. Thanksgiving will soon be out of the way and we can finally get a reprieve from all those annoying relatives. But as with everything, this break is not forever because the holiday season is right around the corner. Yay. But don't worry, I've got a surefire plan to quiet down all those annoying relatives. You wanna know what it is? Well, I'll tell you. It's gifts. Yeah, gifts. Not the crappy kind you give to Joe Schmo. I'm talking about the premium, extra, super duper special kind. And they would all fit in your holiday budget. You wanna know when and where you could get such gifts? Black Friday, of course. November 24th to be exact. The one day of the year when retailers, both physical and digital, slash their prices to bargain bin levels, supposedly. However, in a recent trend that's been picking up in the past few years, retailers begin the Black Friday sale weeks, no, months in advance in order to maximize profit. So it's not really a Black Friday anymore, it's more like a Black Friday month. While that's all well and good for the consumer because it gives you more time to get all those great deals and finish your holiday shopping, it also maximizes the risk that every Black Friday brings with it. No matter how long the sales are extended to, there will always be a limited number of limited sales products for sale each day. That, coupled with the dangerously high number of desperate shoppers in stores, results in Robbery, shootings, and assaults of all kinds. Manufacturers release lower quality and defective versions of their mainline products specifically for sale on Black Friday. Many times retailers advertise these items as their mainline counterparts in an effort to dupe customers into buying an item that is of lower quality and cost to produce, thereby maximizing profits. If you plan on saving money by shopping on Black Friday, due to the way that retailers engineer sales and shopping environments, you'll end up making quite a few impulse buys and buying things that you or your family don't really need, completely destroying the purpose of shopping on Black Friday. The reason that all these pitfalls occur is due to the way that retailers engineer Black Friday to psychologically subjugate consumers through the use of many forms of advertisement, such as scarcity promotion, aka limited quantities, to make consumers perceive their fellow shoppers as competition in the attainment of a specific good. And in the words of the Oxford Journal in their study on scarcity promotion, this explains why people get so worked up around Black Friday and why there's so much violence even when there's an abundance of product. You know what, in hindsight, it's better you don't go shopping on Black Friday and better you don't go outside at all. I believe it'd be better to shop on Cyber Monday, the Monday following Black Friday, because you get better deals than Black Friday, you get to shop from home, avoid crazy crowds, you get to avoid faulty goods for the most part, and you can save, actually save money because you're not forced to shop in an overly consumerist environment that is egging you on to keep spending money. So it's pretty much a win-win situation. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our Facebook, follow our Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm off to finish my holiday shopping. For Sparta!